What's the weight of a cup of coffee? Coffee is one of the most popular drinks today, both at home and in the office. With its flavor and caffeine content, it's hard not to become addicted. You might be surprised to find out that it can vary between 2 grams and 8 grams depending on what type of beans you're using, but with a scale, you'll be able to find out for sure. There are many steps involved in creating content for your blog post or website, planning out the topic you want to cover, researching related issues so that you have sources lined up in advance, and structuring your article so that it flows from point to point. The weight of a cup of coffee depends on the type of coffee, the brewing method, and the amount of sugar or cream used. A standard cup of brewed coffee weighs about 95 grams, 3. 5 ounces. Coffee is one of the most popular drinks in the world. It can be enjoyed at any time and is often a part of morning and afternoon routines. But how much caffeine is in a cup of coffee? The weight of coffee varies depending on the type and strength of the coffee. A standard 12 ounce cup of brewed medium roast coffee has about 95 milligrams of caffeine. However, a more robust coffee can have up to 190 milligrams of caffeine. So, if you're looking for a strong cup of coffee, choose one with more caffeine. How much does a mug of coffee weigh in grams? For those interested in the weight of a mug of coffee, here is a breakdown. A standard 12 ounces cup of coffee weighs about 176 grams. That means that a mug of coffee typically contains about 6 teaspoons or about 18 grams of coffee. The difference between metric and imperial weights cups of coffee can vary in weight depending on the country or region in which they were brewed. In the United States, for example, a standard cup of coffee weighs about 180 milligrams, while in Brazil, it weighs around 220 milligrams. The metric system is more accurate when measuring small quantities, but the imperial system is more common and familiar to people in the United States. The weight of a cup of coffee can be confusing to remember if you are using imperial or metric weights. The metric system uses base 10, while the imperial system uses base 12. So, a cup of coffee in the imperial system is lighter than a cup in the metric system. Here is a breakdown of the difference. Cup of coffee, imperial, equals 150 milliliters. Cup of coffee, metric, equals 100 milliliters. Why would someone want to measure the weight of a cup of coffee? Coffee is a popular beverage that is enjoyed by people all over the world. Coffee is essential to many people's lives, whether for a quick pick-me-up or as part of a complete breakfast. It is also a popular beverage to weigh and measure. There are many reasons someone might want to measure the weight of a cup of coffee. Perhaps they are researching coffee's nutritional value or trying to create their own recipe. Whatever the reason, measuring the importance of a cup of coffee can provide valuable data. There are a few things to keep in mind when it comes to weighing coffee, make sure that you use an accurate scale. Ensure that the cup you are measuring is clean and dry. Be sure to read the instructions that come with your ranking so that you get accurate results. Here are some tips on how to measure the weight of a cup of coffee. Step 1. Strip any excess paper or packaging from the cup before measuring it. This will ensure that you get an accurate reading. Step 2. Firmly press down the cup placement on the scale so that the weight of the coffee is pressed on the counter. There are many reasons someone might want to measure the weight of a cup of coffee. Coffee is often purchased in bulk, and it can be challenging to determine the importance of a single cup. It can also help determine the cost of coffee. Additionally, coffee quality can be evaluated based on its weight. How to measure the weight of an inch or a milliliter coffee lovers rejoice. You can accurately weigh your favorite beverage without resorting to a kitchen scale. A milliliter is a new, innovative way to measure weight, becoming more popular daily. Here's how it works. Fill a small container with water and add one milliliter of coffee. Shake the container until the water and coffee are mixed well. 
Now place the container on a precision scale and wait for the display to read 1 milliliter. This will give you an accurate reading of the weight of 1 milliliter or 1 inch of coffee. So next time you're in the market for a fresh cup of Java, remember to use milliliters instead of cups. Thank you for watching www.coffeeeternal.com